Today, we're gonna to be talking about the top 10 reasons why you should buy a house. Now, you might be thinking that this is pretty much the opposite of the last video I made, which was the top 10 reasons not to sell your house. And the reason is that there's a lot of people that wanna know both sides of the coin. And so that's why today we're gonna to talk about why you should buy a house, if it's right for you, if you should do it, or if you should just keep living rent free with your parents down in the basement, in their upstairs room, whatever it might be. So make sure to watch till the end so you know what to do and let's get right into it. So the first reason that you should buy a house is if you're just tired of paying rent. You feel like you're throwing your money away and you're just like, man, like all of this money, I'm just shelling out just like dollars every single month to pay this rent, $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month, $3,000 a month, however much it is for you, it adds up to a lot, especially when you look at $2,000 a month on rent times 12 months in the year, $24,000, that's a big deal. So if you are one of those people that is just tired of throwing all of your money right into your landlord's pockets, lining them up so he can buy his new BMW, maybe you should look at buying a home. And going hand in hand with that, reason number two is if you are tired of rent increases. If you've rented for any length of time, you've realized, I'm sure, that when it comes time to renew that lease, your landlord has slapped on an extra $50 or an extra $100 a month to your rent payment. And the reason for that is because taxes increase, property values increase, the property that you're in becomes more valuable, and so he can charge more money for that property. And if you're not willing to pay that extra rent, well, he just won't renew the lease with you and he'll get another renter in that will pay that rent increase. And that's something that just over time can really eat away at your expenses. And when you buy a home on a fixed rate mortgage, your mortgage payment is gonna stay the same every single month. The only thing that will ever change is if your homeowner's insurance rate changes or if the taxes, the property taxes change. We all know that the government loves to increase taxes, so you can count on that, but you're never gonna be paying more for the actual house that you're living in. So that's a great reason why you should buy a house in 2021 so that way you avoid those rent increases and to cap off this talk about rent reason number three is that when you buy a house instead of all of your money just being wasted essentially going to someone else's pockets you're building equity meaning that the money that you're paying for your mortgage is actually paying off the home to the lender and so if you have a 30-year mortgage which is the most common length to have then by the end of those 30 years which yes it's a long time but by the end of those 30 years you will own that home free and clear, you won't have to pay mortgage payments at all. Only thing you'll still be liable for is property taxes, homeowner's insurance if you wanna have it, but other than that, you're good to go. So if you one day have the dream of living rent free and only having to worry about property taxes, then you should buy a home because the sooner you buy a home, the sooner you'll be able to pay it off and the sooner you'll be free of rent, of mortgage payments, and that'll leave you with a lot more money in your pocket. All right, and the fourth reason that you should buy a house in 2021 is because studies show that when you buy a house in 2021 and comment down below in this video, you're gonna save on average 25% on your property. And that's a huge deal because 25% on a $300,000 house is $75,000. So if you wanna save $75,000 on your next house, make sure to comment down below Otherwise, you're going to be paying list price or higher. Also, please keep in mind that I cannot guarantee that you're going to save $75,000. This is really just me being facetious, but you should still comment down below anyway. Thank you. All right, but for real, the fourth reason that you should buy a house in 2021 is if you just need more space. Maybe your family is growing. Maybe you need an office. Maybe you're trying to run a business out of your home. There's a lot of reasons why you could need more space. And sometimes doing that in an apartment or doing that in a rented home, is just not as nice as having your own space where you can paint the walls, you can decorate, you can hang pictures, you can knock out walls, you can do whatever you want. So if you need that extra space, you have a kid on the way, whatever the situation is, you should really look into buying a home in 2021 because it's gonna be a great choice for you. And the fifth reason really has to do with your personal finances. If you've been renting for a while or living with family and you finally saved enough for your down payment and your closing costs, which are typically about 5% of the price of the home, then you should totally go buy a house. And I say this because if you've been disciplined enough to save the money, not to go spend it on the silly things, then I can feel pretty safe saying that you're probably in a good stage and a good mental place to make that decision, make that huge life-changing purchase and go buy that first house. Which brings me to reason number six why you should buy a house. And that is if you wanna get some of those juicy, juicy gains. What I mean by that is appreciation. And appreciation is one of the best reasons to buy a house because your home is not gonna stay the same value that you bought it at. Over time, your property value is gonna increase. Yes, there are times when your property value may decrease, like in 2008, but historically, over a long stretch of time, your property value will increase. Just in the last year, property values have increased about 23% on average, which is just 
insane. And don't expect that to stay the same forever. The typical average you can expect is about three to five percent. And if you're getting that three percent appreciation year over year, after about 10 years, you can expect your property value to be around $400,000 if you bought a $300,000 house. That's a $100,000 appreciation gain, which is all just equity in your pocket. And you get that money when you go to sell the house because you could sell it for more than you bought it for. And that's why appreciation is one of the top reasons you should buy your house in 2021 because complete opposite of getting those rent increases that I talked about earlier, you're actually making more money by buying your house instead of paying more money to the landlord. And the next reason you should buy a house is because the interest rates are some of the lowest we have ever seen in history. They're hovering right around 3% or so, three and a quarter, depending on your credit score. So make sure you're doing everything you can to get that credit score up. And let me know down below in the comments if you want tips on how to increase your credit score. I can make a video all about that. And to put this into perspective for you, if you're buying a $300,000 home right now and you get an interest rate that's really good right at 3%, your mortgage payment is going to be about $1,265 a month. Now contrast that with getting a 4% interest rate, just 1% higher, and your mortgage payment on that same $300,000 house is going to be about $1,432 per month, an extra $200 more just for that 1% extra interest rate. And that's why getting a low interest rate is so important because that extra money every single month that you'll be saving is going to reduce the amount that you're going to owe in total over the life of the loan. And it's just going to save you hundreds of thousands of dollars. So make sure to get the best interest rate possible. And now is a great time to do that because of how low interest rates are. All right. And reason number eight is so cool. And it's what's called a capital gains exclusion. And this means that if you have lived in the home for two out of the last five years, you get to keep a certain amount of your appreciation on the home tax free, which is a massive deal. If you're a single guy, you get to keep up to $250,000 tax free married. You get up to $500,000 tax free. Say you bought a $300,000 house back in 2008, 2009, where the market was just at the rock bottom. And right now you're looking to sell it and it's say $800,000. Well, that means that you get to pocket that $500,000 that you made on the house. You don't have to pay anything on those gains, which is a huge deal because in most cases you're going to be paying right around 40, 50%, depending on the state that you live in, which means you only would get about half of that money in other investment situations. To help you understand how big of a deal it is to have this money be tax free, if you were to make $500,000 in stocks, you're going to be paying around 40 to 50% of that money to the government, depending on the state that you live in and your tax bracket. But that means you're only going to keep about half the money. And that really shows how powerful real estate can be as an investment because there's so many tax write-offs and tax exclusions that you get as a real estate owner that are not available to you in other investment vehicles. And the ninth reason why you should buy a house is much more of a qualitative one. And that is, you get pride of ownership when you buy a house. A lot of people really love having their own space that they can decorate, that they can renovate, that they can really take care of, manage the lawn, plant new flowers, put gutters in, do all of the things that people do to their homes to make it really their own and one of a kind. And that's a really huge deal for people. It's hard to measure, but you're probably gonna feel it inside of you a bit if you're renting right now and you just feel like this itch to renovate, put new cabinets in, paint the walls, you know, whatever it might be. Well, you get to do all of those things when you buy a house. And that's another great reason why you should buy one right now. And the last but not least reason that you should buy a house in 2021 is that if it's been a lifelong dream for you to buy a house, you have the funds, you're in a good life situation to make this decision and this purchase, go make that dream true for yourself. Don't sit there always wishing, always wanting to have a home. If this is something you've always wanted to do, especially if you've never lived in a home growing up, if you always rented, you were just always in apartments and you've built such a life for yourself that you can buy a house, go do it, be thoughtful with the decision. But I'm sure if you are, then you're not gonna regret it and you're really going to enjoy this home. You're going to reap all of the rewards I just talked about with the tax exclusions, with the appreciation, not paying rent, all of those things. And you'll be making your lifelong dream come true. So if that's true for you, definitely go buy a house, make that decision. And let me know in the comments down below once you've bought it. So that way I can congratulate you. But that's it, everybody. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope it clarified some of your decision-making processes. Let me know what you're going to be doing, how you're going to be moving forward. If you disagree with any of the points I made, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.